In this video tutorial, I will show you how to create a modern car listing website with WordPress using the directories plugin. I will make a unique design and customize the whole website's layout with the free version of the Elementor page builder. Directorist is a free plugin trusted by 10,000 plus users loaded with advanced features such as multi-directory support, unlimited custom fields and custom filters with an intuitive drag and drop builder. This plugin also includes an AI directory builder that can save you hours of manual work when creating advanced directories. So if you are interested in this topic, keep watching the video. And if you are watching this intro video on social media, then check the video description or comments for the complete tutorial link. So let's get started with this tutorial. Okay, so welcome to this video tutorial. The plugin we are going to use to create a directory website is Directress. This is an amazing plugin that has 10,000 10, plus active installs at WordPress repository and by the by the time we are recording and publishing this video there is a black friday sale uh, is going on on their website you can take advantage of it by uh, getting up to 40 percent discount and you can read all about this plugin uh, on their official website you will find all of the links in the video description so let's talk about price pricing uh, the base version is available for free on the WordPress repository that we will be using in this tutorial and I'll also uh, show you the premium add-ons and premium features that you can avail after upgrading to a paid version. But you can uh, build any kind of directory website by using the free version only. If you purchase during the Black Friday sale you will get huge discounts like $107 for one year with all extensions, all premium themes and unlimited websites license. And they also have a lifetime deal going on LTD uh, where you can uh, get this deal in $587 for lifetime, including all extensions, all premium themes and it's closing very soon so let's get back to our video tutorial first of all we will learn how to install and configure directories plugin do that navigate to the wordpress dashboard and navigate and click on add new plugin and you can search here for directories plugin click install and activate after activating the plugin it will take you to the plugin setup wizard where you can easily configure your directory website first of all uh, you can choose what type of directory you are creating you can uh, select up to five uh, types uh, you can use this plugin to create multiple directories like if you want to have uh, a classified website and then a car listing website and then a doctor's listing or a business directory you can do that all on the same website uh, by using this single plugin so uh, let's just say we are creating a uh, directory website that has a business directory a job directory a hotel directory car selling directory and a doctor's directory then click next then you can set a default location for the ads so i'll set this to pakistan next you can choose to enable uh, these certain options like monetization uh, you can charge a fee uh, for sponsored or featured listings let's say i'm charging 14.99 dollars for featured or sponsored listing then you can enable payment gateways bank transfer 
and uh, PayPal. It will install an extra extension to uh, integrate the PayPal option in your directory website. So I'll just go ahead with bank transfer for now. Next. And then uh, here comes the part where you will decide whether you want to import a uh, demo content or dummy data on your website. If you are building this for a client, you should obviously uh, have some kind of dummy data to build the website on. But if you are starting it for your own business, then you should probably skip this step and you can go ahead and start adding your own content so i will not import the demo content for now uh, because first i want to uh, demonstrate the base usage of this plugin then when the design part comes i'll uh, import the demo content and then uh, we'll design the website on top of that and you can also uncheck this box if you don't want to share uh, any data with directest plugin it's basically non-sensitive data that uh, uh, most plugin and theme authors uh, collect from your website like error loggings and etc ultimately helps them improve their plugin or code base so just click submit and launch and your directory website will be ready in a few seconds okay now let's return to the wordpress dashboard you see there are currently no listings over here and you will see a directory listing tab on the left side just below the post or by the time you are installing it can be uh, a different location but it will be available on the left side so I'll uh, explore all of these tabs one by one and I'll try to explain everything in a short span of time but you should always uh, visit the documentation official documentation page of any plugin or theme that you are going to use on your wordpress website the official documentation is always the best place to look for the updated information about that plugin or a theme like if you want to uh, learn more about directories plugin in uh, in detail and learn how to configure uh, each and every option they have pretty detailed and easy to understand documentation uh, that you can uh, further explore to uh, learn more about this plugin okay so in the first step you you will see all of the listing that uh, are available on your website whether you have added them from the back end or a user have submitted it from the front end and when you want to add a new listing you can either click here or click here then in the next tab we have categories you obviously want to have some uh, categories for your directory website like if you are building a classified web classified website you will have something like mobiles uh, electronics furniture or etc so you can easily create uh, categories from this screen and you will also notice these directory types as i have told you earlier uh, this is a pretty amazing plugin and it can be used to create multiple directories on a single website so you can the directory types you have created will be shown here and each directory type will have its own category that you will assign through here after giving the category a name you can choose uh, that uh, this category belongs to which category uh, which directory type and you can also choose an icon for this category like for hotels you uh, want to have 
you can also assign an image to this to this category and for car cell you may want to have something like brands or car manufacturers and you get the idea you can create as many categories as you like for each of these directory types or if you are building uh, a directory website for a singular purpose like only a classified website or only a hotels directory only a jobs directory or only a car selling directory then uh, you can add locations this is important uh, because uh, on business or listing websites or directory websites or classified or any kind of listing websites users will uh, ultimately submit their listings so you should have appropriate locations added for them to choose like if you are targeting uh, the whole pakistan then you need to add all of the main cities and their sub locations like i may want to add lahore and you can assign multiple directory types if you want to assign this uh, location to the multiple uh, directory types or if you want to assign a category to multiple directory types you can simply check them all like uh, I want to have this location assigned to all of these directory types so I will check all of these boxes and if you want to add a sub location then you can choose a parent location from here Okay, so this is how uh, you should configure uh, your main locations and their sub locations. Then in the tags, you will see uh, the tags assigned to the uh, listings. Uh, you can add them here or they will be automatically added when each of the listing is submitted. And then uh, this is the main part of this plugin which is the uh, directory builder we had uh, created multiple directories uh, during our plugin wizard or basic plugin setup like you can see all of them are added here and the business category is set to default you can either remove them and create your own directories or you can extend it uh let me just delete some like i will delete hotels and doctors let's just remove this okay now when if you want to create a new directory you will create you will click here create new directory and a pop-up will appear where you can use template if you choose this plug uh, this option it will install another plugin templatic then there is a second option which is uh sorry let me just get back second option is create from scratch you will uh, add all of the required fields or options or configure everything from scratch and then uh, they recently introduced this amazing feature which is create with AI let me just go through uh, one by one if we click on this option it will install the templatic plugin okay now uh, you will see a lot of pre-made templates uh, 
like demo data or ready-made websites that you can import and it will import the whole directory uh, for you and they have uh, different themes uh, designed specifically for this plugin and you will see each theme has a price tag and you if you have uh, purchased their membership or a premium uh, license for one year or if you do decide to go with uh, the lifetime deal which you should and which you should purchase with the link available in the video description then you will get access to all of these 40 plus premium uh, beautifully designed directory websites that you can import and if you click on free you will see there are four free versions that you can use to create a, a good looking directory website uh, like obviously all of the free uh, products out there have some kind of limitations uh, so ultimately you will have to upgrade to the premium version but this plugin already offers way uh, more stuff from the, its competitors so if you want to uh, import a full website uh, that you can also preview before importing it you can see this is a complete ready website that you can easily import so after installing the templatic uh, plugin you will have this option to import their ready-made websites so let's get back to this directory builder and you get the idea about this first option and then from create from scratch when you are on create from scratch screen you will uh, first give your directory a name i'll call it classifieds and then it's uh, in its general settings you can select an icon they have an icon library okay and then uh, you can configure the default listing status when users will uh, submit the listings from front end you should obviously uh, go with this option of pending like you don't want to uh, publish every listing right away it can it may contain sensitive or inappropriate data you may want to uh, review the listings before they go live on your website and if uh, you have a team of your own like trusted people like if you're on only your office staff or only the people you choose uh, can post on your website then you can simply go ahead and uh, uh, choose a publish op option but when you have created a directory website or a listing website where everyone anyone can submit listing then you should uh, not choose to go with publish you should always set it to pending so you can review the you or your staff can review the listing then edited listing uh, this is optional uh, you can go with the uh, published or pending but pending is always a good option uh, perhaps a user have submitted the listing and uh, added the correct data first time and when you have approved it and the user may decide to abuse later on and add any harmful content on your website later on so you should be careful and then you can set a default listing expiration dates and then you can set a default listing preview image if you are if the user have not uh, have not uh, provided an image for the ad or a listing then you can uh, design something of your own like most of the popular classified websites have like olx they have some kind of uh, fallback image when the user have not submitted any image okay and then uh, after uh, setting options in here you can navigate to add listing form this is the form when uh, that will be displayed to the user uh, for the listing submission it has amazing fields uh, over here that you can uh, 
uh, drag and drop over here and build the form however you want and you can also watch this video tutorial that will further explain the functionality of this screen it's basically uh, for you to build the uh, submission form for the listing if you are ha if you have uh, multiple directories uh, multiple types of directories on your website uh, then you should obviously uh, create uh, different forms because every uh, single a singular form cannot uh, be used for uh, all kind of listing like if someone is submitting a listing for a hotel booking website then uh, the information you uh, will require from the user can be different and if, if someone is submitting a listing for a doctor's directory then obviously the fields will be uh, different the information that you want to collect from the user uh, it will be different so you can create uh, multiple forms for each directory type then you can also design the single page layout this is the part where i have mostly enjoyed using this plugin uh, because uh, most of uh, the competitor plugins does not have this ability to design the uh, single listing page as well they have given you an amazing drag and drop builder to uh, build the listing page however you want like if you want to uh, insert an element okay yeah. each uh, action button will show you different uh, options that you can choose from like report or share this is listing heading and then you can also change the icon and then for listing title you will have the listing title widget and then uh, more widgets you can show price badges rating so let me show badges and uh, rating and let's just show price as well and i'll drag it over here okay and then you can add the image slider over here after taking care of the listing header you can start customizing the content section i'll add a section and then i'll show the author info and then you can further customize this uh, section however you like each section uh, will have its own options that you can choose or customize according to your requirement okay so when you are done uh, playing around and customizing the content page you can also uh, create a custom uh, single listing page if you turn on this page they have uh, amazing short codes that you can use in your posts and pages and page builders and if you don't want to use this uh, predefined layout uh, with these options you can create a custom page then use their short codes to to uh, design that page however you like like with elementor or gutenberg uh, if you decide to design with that by using the short codes then you will have to create a page design and then you can choose that page uh, over here and it will display uh, that uh, display the listing in that specific layout that you have designed through that page you can also click here uh, to generate short codes you can see you can use these short codes uh, these short codes are generated uh, based on these layouts that you have selected and modified over here it has generated the short codes uh, with the options you have selected so you can also use these short codes to in inside that page to display the single listing however you want so i'll just turn off this one and then all listing layout 
uh, you can customize this as you have customized this single page layout you can also customize this uh, the uh, all listings page for this specific directory uh, and uh, keep in mind you uh, you as you have created multiple directories you can design those directories differently to have a different look and feel for the listings uh, in that specific directory and then uh, you can also uh, customize the all listing layout over here and then in the search form you can also customize this search form and almost all of uh, the uh, tabs have a specific video tutorial assigned to them if you get con confused at any point you can simply click on this uh, watch tutorial button and it will uh, show you a relevant video for this page so after you are done customizing everything as you want for uh, that specific directory you can simply click on create the directory and your directory will be created and if we get back to the directories and we have now jobs classified and business now let's come to their post advertised most awaited and most amazing feature for this version of directorist is uh, create with ai you see uh, if you are creating a directory uh, for car listing website you will have to customize a lot of stuff and you will have to build the form from scratch like adding all of the relevant fields that uh, you should have on a car listing website and you may miss something and then it is a time consuming job to build that complete form and customize everything they have now introduced create with ai feature which is in currently beta if you click on it it's pretty simple and yet amazing you will just give your directory a name let me now let me call this one doctors and then you can optionally choose a default location and then click on continue to generate now you will choose uh, what type of directory this is this is our doctors directory you see there are uh, predefined directory types the most popular ones that you see on almost all of uh, around all of the world you can also click other and if you uh, don't see a directory type over here that you want to create then you can obviously click on others and uh, type your directory type so it's a doctor directory and you can see uh, it has already added a prompt i want to create a doctor's directory in pakistan so continue to generate and then it will ask you to add some keywords and amazingly it will generate some recommended keywords for you depending on the location and the directory type you have selected like i want to use pakistan direct, uh, doctors doctors directory in pakistan Pakistan doctor finder Pakistan healthcare directory and doctors in Pakistan so you can select maximum of five keywords then click on generate directory and it will generate a fully functional directory with all of the fields required in that form within a few seconds you see it has generated all of the fields for us uh, you can Pin the options that you uh, want uh, in the form and if you click to expand any option you will see uh, predefined fields that will be created like uh, you can understand that it has identified uh, or uh, created uh, the uh, the popular languages spoken in Pakistan which is Urdu, Punjabi, Sindhi and then English so you can see it has also populated some popular hospitals affiliation 
and it will populate for you uh, when you have selected your uh, location so it's a pretty pretty amazing option so you can uh, pin the pin the options and then regenerate unpinned uh, click the regenerate unpinned options so it will uh, generate if you want to shuffle the fields somehow then you should first pin someone that you want to keep and then click on regenerate so it will regenerate the unpinned fields so let's just go ahead and build the directory and you can see it has successfully generated a, a complete directory uh, using its ai feature within a few seconds and then you can click on preview and customize you can see it has added all of the options we wanted and then you can see it has also created a pretty amazing form that will be displayed on the front end so users can submit appropriate listings and then uh, for by default uh, it will display all of the relevant fields you can see it has also populated the content beautifully and then uh, custom listing page if you want and then all listing page it has also generated it according to our directory and then the search form and when click when you click on update it will you can see the search form is also customized so now uh, it can save you hours of work while generating directories for your website uh, you can leverage this just create with AI feature and it will uh, amazingly generate directories for you so now you get the idea on how to use the directory builder of directorist plugin and if you I have missed something obviously you should look up to their documentation to further learn uh, about this amazing plugin okay and then in the next tab which is order history this is where uh, you will see all of the uh, sponsored or featured listing orders that you users will submit from front end for their listing and then uh, reviews on the listings will be available over here you can see them or customize them if you want and then the settings tab of this plugin which has all of the uh, let me just close this one now this page has a pretty amazing feature rich panel that uh, you can use to customize the behavior and uh, certain options of this plugins however you want like if you want to disable the multi directory option you can turn it off and if you haven't enabled it somehow and or if you can't see uh, multiple directory building options then you should probably go here and see make sure that this toggle is on and then you can also turn on guest list submissions and then you can enable the registration and then you you may also want to enable the email verification and then you can set a default currency for the listing like if i am creating a directory or listing website for pakistan then i should use pkr or if you are creating a directory website in india you should use inr or rs or rupees or any uh, other currency sign that you want to use for your listing and then you can choose uh, a currency code to display before or after the price and then you can set listing re renewal uh, notice uh, days when to send the expire notice when to send the renewal reminder you can pass in the number of days over here and then you can uh, select how you wanna manage this uh, expired listing management permanently delete expired listings uh, after how many days if you don't want to delete permanently delete the expired listings 
then you can turn this on but you should uh, keep it on because you don't want to have uh, that much of uh, useless data stored on your website like if a listing is expired it should be deleted if you want to keep it somehow uh, depending on the nature of your directory or your business model you can turn this off but uh, keep in mind that it will keep adding data on your server so if if you have uh, hundreds of thousands of expired listing uh, then you can probably run into some troubles so in this general tab you can configure these options uh, i will just give you uh, give you an overview of this panel because we can't just explain each and everything in a single video tutorial and then you can adjust the all listings layout and uh, options uh, to customize the all listings page and then you can uh, customize the single listing page theme template page theme template post or direct list template and then you can customize the view uh, and layout of the category and locations page then you can customize the map like what map engine you want to use if you want to use google maps then you can you will have to enter a google maps api key over here uh, that you can click over here and then you can find how you can create your api keys you should create an api key for google maps and then use it over here i just use open street maps uh, and then you can force the default locations you can customize further options according to your requirement and you can keep hitting this save changes button to save any changes that you have made and then you can configure the badges reviews and then when you install this plugin it automatically creates the required pages like add listing all listings dashboard sign in author profile all categories page you can this page isn't created by default if you want to show all of the categories on a page then you can create a new page and it they also have uh, provided with the short codes uh, that you can use uh, in that particular page also i will display categories and then i'll add a short code block and then just paste in the short code and now you have a categories page all categories page single category page is already created you can also create uh, an all locations page okay and then uh, you can create uh, the required pages if you haven't created them during the initial setup you can simply use these short codes and you can also uh, view all of these short codes on their documentation page you can see there are a couple of uh, documentation links over here and when you click on any uh, short code title then you will see its complete usage on how you can use this short code what uh, attributes it has and what parameters you can uh, pass into that short code so let's just save changes and you get the idea now uh, you can also configure the search you can also configure the user registration form uh, it's not a drag and drop form builder but it has quite uh, of quite of the required fields that you may need on a standard user registration form then it has a, a login form customization you can turn on or off any fields that you want and or don't 
then you have a dashboard page configuration that you can customize over here you can uh, hide or show certain uh, sections on that dash dashboard page and then you can have an all authors page then the next step is for customizing the emails like the general email section and then the templates you can further customize all of the templates or for the emails that are sent to either user uh, or the administrator for certain actions that are performed on your website then in this monetization tab you can uh, enable the monetization feature to monetize your platform uh, if you want to charge users for their featured listings then you can see uh, over here you can set a fee and the number of days for this feature listing and then you can uh, enable or disable the payment gateways and then you can uh, con uh, con further config uh, configure the uh, selected payment gateway uh, uh for free uh, you have a bank transfer and i believe a uh, paypal option was there uh, in the beginning and for further payment gateways and other uh, features you may need to upgrade to their pro version and uh, install an uh, appropriate extension <coughs> and then comes the personalization tab where you can uh, configure the base uh, styling or uh, the brand uh, color scheme for your uh, directory and then in extensions uh, tab uh, it, it's basically taking you to an extensions page and then finally uh, the option you mostly see in other plugins like import and export features that you will find over here if you want to import uh, or export these listings from one website to another they have a built-in import and export feature and they also have uh, an import and export feature for the settings and then in advance they have a built-in SEO feature that you can utilize over here you can explore it thoroughly uh, in detail to see uh, what kind of information you can uh, input over here and then in misc section uh, they have a built-in caching system and debugging system and then you can also turn it on to remove all the data when this plugin is uninstalled so that's it for uh, this uh, settings page then comes the uh, themes and extensions tab where you can find all of their extensions and themes they have uh, pretty amazing themes for this plugins uh, this plugin like uh, i have shown you earlier uh, they have around four themes available for free and then uh, 40 plus uh, themes and ready websites uh, in their pro version and you can that you can see over here they have pricing plans uh, extension uh, on the left side you will see extensions and on the right side you will see their themes uh, like compare listing features post your need listing with map pricing plans woocommerce pricing plans and then paypal payment gateway uh, and then stripe payment gateway you can uh, charge credit or debit cards on your website claim listing mark as sold social login uh, to further enhance the user experience on your website google recapture then listing faqs business hours listing sliders and carousel a live chat feature if you want to add booking reservation and appointment like if you are building a hotel uh, uh, listing or a doctor's listing directory then you should uh, have this extension of booking like on your directory users can reserve uh, a room or book an appointment with the doctor and then they have this image gallery directory ads manager 
body boss integration oxygen integration they also have authorized dot net payment gateway body press and so on they have a couple of amazing extensions built for uh, the directories plugin so you can uh, further uh, enhance the user experience and the features of your directory websites using their amazing action extensions and uh, for that i suggest you should not miss these sale days like the black friday sale that is going on you should avail it and i highly suggest to go with a lifetime or at least a, an yearly subscription for your website that will include all of the extensions and all of the premium themes so now that we have learned everything about the core plugin uh, let's just have a preview of the website and let's just see uh, what pages are created you can see the all listing page is pretty amazing it has amazing options like you can see it has a uh, directories filter over here and then if a user want to add a listing it will take it uh, the user to uh, add listing page where the user will choose a directory first and then uh, you can see uh, this is the form let me choose this one and you can see this is an amazing form by the way we haven't uh, customized or <laughs> designed the website yet it's currently uh, set to a default wordpress theme which is 2025 we'll now uh, learn how to create a more customized directory listing uh, website using elementor page builder and their short codes etc i was just showing you uh, this amazing form uh, for the front end that a user will see and then uh, let me just see where is the account page this is author profile you can see this is the author profile and its listings and this is the dashboard where the user can manage its subscription so uh, i think we have got it covered uh, all uh, i tried to explain everything uh, that is available in this core plugin now let's uh, start designing our directory website using elementor page builder and their short codes okay so now let's get started with our designing and now i'll create a full project uh, for a car listing website using directorist elementor and extra theme uh, let's take a look at our current setup i have already installed and activated elementor and then i have installed and activated the extra theme you can use any other theme uh, which that you like and even directors have amazing themes uh, available for you that are both free and paid so uh, one last piece in the puzzle is that we also need directors elementor add-on here it is directorist add-on skit for elementor okay, now let's just activate okay so uh, this plugin requires requires directorist business directory plugin to be activated now i'll activate it and it will take us to the same setup wizard that we have seen earlier now this time we are going to create a singular directory which is a car listing website so I'll only select car listing directory if you select only one option here it will automatically create a singular directory and it will turn it will not make it into a multi directory site but you can obviously uh, turn on later on next and then I'll set a default location and i'll turn on the monetization and uh, default bank transfer payment method 
and this time I'll import the demo content so we'll have enough data to design our website on okay and if you do decide to add multiple directories on these uh, this same website you can simply go to settings and turn on the multi directory feature okay so now before moving forward uh, please check the link in the video description and download the assets for this video tutorial because i have uh, already collected some assets created logo and other exit uh, stuff that will be useful for you uh, while following this tutorial in that assets folder you will find couple of images logo and i have collected some location images and then uh, this is important it's info.txt where i have mentioned uh, the fonts i'm going to use the color scheme i'm going to use and uh, I have already written some CSS to fix their uh, search box to our needs that you will see later on. Okay, so now first of all, let's see if we have any missing pages. Uh, go to settings and page setup and we may need an all categories page our locations page and okay that's it uh all categories and all locations page so let's just go to pages and i'll add a new page and call it categories and i you can either use the uh, short code from here and they also have gutenberg blocks that you can use just scroll down a bit and you will see a couple of blocks that you can use so let's see uh, categories okay here it is and you can now also configure its layout like changing the grid to list number of columns and etc so I'll publish this one and then uh, we'll need all locations page okay so I'll create a new page locations and let's add the locations block over here okay and same goes for this add-on you can adjust number of columns okay uh, let me just reload this page and all locations page we have created the locations and for all categories we have created the categories page okay and one more thing that i need to adjust is changing the all listing slug to car listings or we can call this car listings as well okay now uh, one more page that i want to create is for authors or in other sense the dealers the uh, people who are posting car ads and i call this dealers i think we have a, a blog for listing authors as well here it is authors okay let's just publish this one okay uh we have all the pages ready now uh now let's start designing and the first step is to create a menu for our website i'll call this main menu and i'll set it to the primary menu and now we have one last step uh 
we need to add or create two more pages one for home and one for blog posts and now go to settings reading and set your pages home for home page and blog for post page save changes now we can get back to the menu screen and let me add home uh, blog and car listings categories dealers locations and uh, after adding them i'll add a custom link for now if you do decide to later on add a shop uh, or you want to sell some auto parts and automobile uh, accessories then you can just install woocommerce and start selling from your car listing website that most of the uh, classified or other listing websites do i'll call this auto shop okay now let's just adjust the some stuff and for car listing i'll add two custom links new cars used cars when you import a demo uh, it automatically creates this custom field we'll just reference it or link it with this menu item if you go to directory builder and go to add listing form you will see all of the fields that it has automatically created you can also create uh, fields on your own that you want to add to the listing form and then single page and then the search form let's see if we have uh, okay there we have it condition which is new used and certified you can also adjust it according to your requirements okay now certified now under car listings we'll add this new cars used cars and certified and for categories you can add some popular categories if you can't see uh, directory listing categories over here just toggle this screen on and you can uh, turn on the listing categories listing locations and if you have multiple directories you can also uh, fetch the listing directories and you can add them to the menu like if you have created a multi-directory website where there are classifieds hospitals or sorry doctors uh, hotels and other type of directories you can then use these as menu items so for now i'll go to categories and i'll add all of these under categories okay we can do the same for the locations but for locations let me just adjust the locations to my specific needs because it has imported these locations with the demo data but i want uh, locations of my own that i have created so i forgot to assign an image Okay, we are good to go now all we have to do is assign these locations to the listings okay now we have locations created and assigned now we can add uh, locations to the menu as well you can just 
uh, add some popular locations and i think we are good to go now we have a clean menu that will be styling further and uh, i just quickly create some more menus for the footer widgets I'll create um, a couple of pages like privacy policy, terms and conditions, about us, contact us. Okay, I have created some uh, menus to use in footer widgets later on. So now we'll start by adjusting or customizing the look and feel of our website. And we'll do that by assigning our typography and color scheme. Uh, in Astra, you can go to customizer and colors, and then you can. Uh, adjust select a color preset or adjust the selected one so i'll adjust the accent color a bit darker and then primary and secondary colors okay i think rest of the stuff is fine for borders we can use this one okay and now you can see the accent and other colors are already adjusted and you also need to go to settings of direct list plugins and then personalization and then you will have to adjust the colors over here uh, but their color picker is a bit buggy it doesn't let you uh, paste the color code so you have to write it down manually I'll just move it over to the other screen so I can see it. Okay, so the accent color is FF five seven five seven. Uh, I I I'll also uh, inform the uh, plugin authors about this issue so they can implement a better approach. So the brand color is here, and then. Uh, we can also set this for the marker shape color okay and then you can also adjust the primary and secondary button for secondary i'll use the accent color uh, the primary color of my own which is two five three one three it and we have adjusted the a global color scheme and now we have to adjust the typography they have a couple of presets but i uh, i don't see pop-ins over here that the font i am going to use you can also use any of the font pairing that you like so for body font i'll use open sense and for headings i'll use pop-ins okay and we are good to 
go now i uh, will assign the logo which is over here and we need to uh turn off the site title or tagline okay now uh, you can also apply different logo for retina devices now i'll adjust the navigation menu Just click click it over here and then go to design now we need to add an account link over here and i'll use logged in view as avatar and uh, we may need to set account link just go to pages and i'll set dashboard link as count url and then for logged out view i'll use text of login and we also have a sign in page created by directorist plugin that i will use over here and then we can add a button and i'll call it cell car and we'll use the add listing page link over here and i think we should remove the blog from the parent menu uh, and we should move it into the footer to have some more space for the main menu Okay, let me just reload this once. Okay, I think we are good to go. Okay, now let's go to pages and edit the home page. And uh, before that, I think we should create our footer uh for that just go to footer builder need to just select widget 1 widget 2 widget 3 and widget 4 over here and then 
uh, go to appearance widgets and you need to add your appropriate widgets into the designated locations like footer builder widget one footer builder widget two and so on i'll use the menu navigation menu widget footer widget one i'll call this buying and selling and then for the secondary menu i'll call this company and i'll use footer widget 2 over here for footer widget 3 i'll use footer widget 3 and for the last widget i'll uh, add some custom text and images let's see how it looks on the front end okay we have a bit of issues let's adjust the background color of this row okay sometimes using a block widget doesn't show the appropriate content so let me just adjust this one uh, okay it's working uh, go to footer builder and for design uh for content colors link color i i think we need to set it to this one and we can set uh the accent color on mouse over okay let's adjust the font style a bit and we need to do it for the others as well can also make it a bit darker okay i think it looks better than the original okay so now we have created our footers uh let me just convert this into two column layout and we can add social links over here and i align them align them to the right for design i think we need to change the colors you can also change or switch the icons okay i think that's fine now let's have a final preview of our header and footer okay now we have a footer designed as well now let's start by designing the home page 
edit the home page and make sure to select the template elementor full width and then click edit with elementor now uh, you need to go to elementor settings and go to global fonts and adjust the global fonts here as well so we don't have to adjust them manually in it in some element or elements later on for primary and secondary i'll use pop-ins and for text i'll use open stands and for accent i'll also use pop-ins uh, and we don't have to set the global colors because they are already coming from the theme let me just zoom out a bit so we can have some more space over here uh, and if you can't see let me just turn it uh, a bit larger uh, because i am using a larger screen so i'll just squeeze these sidebars a bit to have some more space on the editing area so first of all uh, any website uh, has a featured section and for this website we'll add their amazing search box over here and for that i'll create a new container over here and before moving forward we need to increase the default container width from 1140 to 1240 to have some wider containers okay now inside this let me turn this container into a row and i'll add two columns or two further containers i'll set this one to 70 percent or 68 or 32 ratio would be fine okay and let's go to style and set a uh, background color you see the global colors are already coming from theme we'll just select one and i have created a banner image for this featured area you can just use this one or use your own and before uh, uploading your images directly i highly suggest to compress those images before uploading to the website because this is currently a 378 kb banner image which is now reduced to 206 kb size okay now we'll use this one the minified version okay uh set position to bottom right a display size to cover and i'll adjust its minimum height to like 550 pixels you see we have a car fast moving car over here and then uh, in the left section we'll add a search box and in the right container we'll add some text and i'll remove the gap from these containers and we can also make this like 65 to 35 ratio to have more room for the text over here okay to bring the search box over here uh you can see uh, if you scroll down a bit you will see a couple of uh, directorist widgets elementor widgets over here that's why we had installed the add-ons kit for elementor by directorist but before that let's adjust the default search box or search box fields for this directory uh, just navigate to the search form and you see you have uh, a couple of options the basic 
section contains the fields that will appear uh, right on the current viewed screen and the advanced section will have uh, controls or filters that will pop up that will be displayed in a pop-up while clicking on more filters button so for this search box we need make model and then we'll move the condition to over here okay for condition and then uh, we'll move the transmission here as well and for location i use display from listing location instead of the map okay uh, transmission location and then we can also uh, add the uh, sorry no features i want to add the body type in the main search box as well or and for advanced i can add we can add pricing or you can drag any other filters for the advanced okay let's just update this from here and then i'll reload this page and before uh, doing anything uh, i would like you to add the uh, css code that i have written for you because i had practiced it uh, a lot and i have already fixed some stuff that needs fixing later on for the design that we are going to create so you should just get a head start by just copying this uh, css code and just paste it over here in the customizer you will see an additional option and then now you can uh, tweak this css code to uh, your requirement i'll just publish this one and then uh, let's go to header builder and i think we need to adjust some menu spacing Uh, it will squeeze the header a bit so to have a more clear look and feel and then uh, we can adjust the drop down think 20 is enough okay i think we are good to go now uh, we'll have to reload this as well so we can have the updating updated css code from the customizer okay now uh, let's add a search box over here this is our directorist search form and we need to use a special class that I have assigned to it. Uh, go to additional CSS. I have assigned home search class or concatenated all of my CSS with a specific class so it does not disturb the search form anywhere or else on the website. We need to only adjust it on the home page so first of all let's turn off the title and subtitle show popular categories on and go to advanced and just in the css classes section just type in or paste the home search you can see now the search box is refined and fine-tuned all we have to do is just go to form container and apply the background color of our own or i'll use this one okay or you can assign a darker color and then uh, adjust its its opacity to meet your requirements 
but adjusting uh, opacity will also result in some other color uh, disturbance like you see behind the field so i'll just use this uh, lighter accent color over here okay and for popular categories select another color and now i'll adjust the content of this container to the center okay and let me just reload this one and there you go we have an amazing search box over here now uh, for right column we need to add some headings and i'll also adjust this one to the center now we can use a spatial element to give this content a space from bottom okay now we have a heading uh, just above the fast moving car and i think we are fine here now uh, for the next section uh, I'll call this hero and then uh, this one categories and we have a, a directorist categories widget but uh, it, it it has this kind of layout Uh, and let's just go to categories and let's first assign the images that I have downloaded to show you what I mean. Okay, now that we have adjusted the categories, I reload this one. Now you see it has the layout of this kind, like the images in the background with an overlay and a text. But the layout I want to achieve is a bit different. I want to show the car image or type category type image or on the top and then the title and the listing count and for that we can uh, we can do do that with their default widget uh, we can do everything with elementor except the listing count for that category but i'll show you a workaround that will work quite will work for you uh, that i have tested already so for this i uh, i'll convert this one to a row and then i'll add an inner box over here or you can simply directly use an image box okay so let's choose an image add this to the heading and for description uh, we want to pull the number of items in that category so 
I'll just set this to zero first for now to uh, style this a bit. Uh, go to advanced background and set a light background color to this container and then I set about a radius like 8 pixels and let's just go to images image and increase the width of the image to like 75 percent I think that should be enough okay now for the dynamic part uh where we want to pull the data again we can run into some trouble if you don't have elementor pro you can't use dynamic content or dynamic data for any of the static fields so if you have elementor pro then you should use this option and assign the short code that i am going to create or show you uh, and if you don't have elementor pro and you are using only the free version of the elementor then you can design a box of your own like i have to this one uh let me i want to show six boxes in a row so or let's say five boxes which should be 20 percent each and now i'll do the same background color border radius and a padding of 25 pixels and from top and bottom 35 pixels you can adjust it as per your requirements i'll add an image over here so let's just start with this image okay set this to 100 percent then you need a, a text widget or a heading widget i'll use the html tag for this to div and then we can adjust the colors and now uh for the value of the number of items available in that category we will use a short code widget over here uh, let me adjust the font sizing for these and now for short code i have created a short code in chat gpt uh, you can just i will provide the short code in the video description you can just copy it I have already created it i'll just explain it to you uh this this short code basically pulls uh, the number of posts in a custom taxonomy and return it as an integer value so to use this short code you will have to install a new plugin uh, which is wp code you can install any other plugin you can add this code in the functions.php file of your theme if you are using a child theme and so on and let's just install and activate this and i'll add a new code snippet by clicking over here and then add custom snippet use type php snippet and then i'll call this call this uh count just paste in the code and make sure to pass in the uh, taxonomy name for the categories like if you go to categories you will see the taxonomy name available here in the url this is your taxonomy name for the categories of directory plugin you can use this short code for any other custom taxonomy from any other plugin uh, and then uh, it uh, you can pass some attributes so instead of fixing the term uh, i will uh, use this same sh uh, short code to pass in the terms for each category to 
fetch its values. So let's just save snippet. The short code name is over here. You should rename it uh, with a unique prefix. Like I'll call this directorist and replace the function name over here and then instead of calling it taxonomy I'll call it directorist uh, category post count so just copy this one update and then uh, here in the short code widget you can use this short code with this care brackets and then you can pass in the term slug for the category that you want to fetch the number of items go to categories and here if you uh, just click on quick edit this is your term name or slug just copy this one and paste it inside the double quotes okay so you see you have the count returned to you so uh, to further refine it since i assume you are using elementor's free version uh, you will have to do this all of this work while you could have just used the dynamic option in the elementor pro if you have elementor pro i always prefer you or encourage you to use that dynamic option it will also reduce a lot of uh, html uh, that is being generated like we have to use another container and i need to set it to row and then uh, i'll have to add a text value along with it as well so call this to div and let's call it listings or you can call it offers okay so i'll have to adjust the font style okay Okay. Now for this parent container, I'll reduce the space and obviously you will have to adjust the font size or style for this value as well. So I'll assign a class to it. Category, category count number publish this one and go to the customize and I'll add this to the CSS let's just see how it looks okay font size is adjusted i'll well i'll provide all of this css code uh, the final css code in to uh, this gist uh, that you can copy okay so uh, we have created a workaround to uh, display the categories in our specified layout okay now we can remove this one and now just duplicate this I'll call this boxes and i'll add another container over here 
all this header that is to space between align to center and let's just say view all and link it with the categories page and i'll adjust the styling give this a space from the top like 30 pixels and from bottom like 30 pixels and we have a customized categories page that you can further fine tune with your requirements okay let's just publish this one and now uh we'll show some listings uh, i'll call this feature listings and i'll do the same for this container like a uh, header section or we can just copy the header section from here and i'll add another container and i'll call this content and feature listings and instead of calling this view all uh we can add a button like feature your car here that should bring more sales to your featured listing okay now for the listing we can use the uh, widget uh here it is all listings and for all listings we should disable the header from here and uh sidebar options no sidebar uh, four items per row and then preview image enabled view as grid list or map uh, we can uh, turn on the featured only or popular only uh, and uh, we don't have a featured listing for now to make a listing feature just edit it and check this box mark as featured let's see if we have this in a quick quick edit options no i'll uh, mark all of these as featured just for the sake of the demo Okay, now let's reload this page uh, to further fine tune the widget. Okay, now we have our featured listings over here. We can turn this to three items per row or four items per row, however you like. Let's just add another listing. I'll use some real time data from another website. Okay, I have an added another car. Uh, let's just publish this one first and reload. 
and there you have it now you can further fine tune the structure of uh, this section uh, by adjusting and let me just reduce the address over here like if you want to adjust the data uh, that's coming in this card you can just go to this directory builder it's coming from here uh, like uh, all listings layout you can see this is a card i don't want to have uh, the address over here uh, it takes a lot of space just reload this one and you can also remove the user avatar from the listing uh, let me just reload it over here and you can see there are uh, your listings and you can further customize the data like remove the fuel from here okay and you can also adjust it by clicking on the settings if you want to change the icon uh, search for car and you can see there is your layout and then you can further customize the card structure uh, by adding or removing elements from here okay so you get the idea and for style you can adjust its styling like text color uh, for title top info bottom info listing footer and anything that is available over here you can customize okay and if you purchase their premium version they also have sliders and carousels that you can use but in the free version you can only show listings in a grid list or map okay just reload this one and you have your featured listings over here and since they don't have any further customization controls for the cards or grids like adjusting space between them adjusting padding around the section they don't have any controls which they should have uh, and but for the time being you can simply uh, adjust the layout by applying some custom css like if i want to remove the padding uh, from the listing call uh, let me just reload this home page so we can have uh, a preview over here so uh, we can see what css effect is being applied uh, so i'll and before applying a custom css to uh, the whole uh, website you should uh, define a custom css class where you want that uh, specific styling to appear i'll call this home listing so it does not affect or disturb any styling for this plugin on the other layouts so we'll have to prefix it with our class and then uh, first we have to reload this page so because this page currently does not know anything about that class that we have just assigned now after reloading it should know that there is a class now we can start adjusting its structure and instead of padding we'll use the gap property on the parent element 
to have some gap like 10 pixels and now we also have to adjust the width for each individual listing item to remove the gap so we'll use css calculation calc method 100% minus oh sorry not 100% it was 25% minus 10 pixels should fix the issue uh, of wrapping now let's just publish this one I think we should remove the mileage from here as well to make the cards even and okay uh now we have a clean featured listing section over here and now for this i think we need to remove the padding uh, from this button or reduce it okay now i uh, will just uh, let me just increase the size of this heading to like 28 pixels and this one as well okay so now you can uh, just duplicate uh, these sections to have more listings on your page i duplicate this and now uh, instead of featured only we can use uh, popular only now it will display uh, the popular listings like when uh, they are viewed or they are saved or they are commented and so on It will uh, take some fine uh, time for the data to appear over here. So we'll just uh, pull up all of the listings uh, to show. Like if you want to show them in a list or a grid. Okay, we need to remove the class from this listing we don't want to disturb its layout but i think that was fine uh, because it's taking too much of a space okay now we have popular listings and then i think we can wrap up by uh, displaying some blog posts or some other information or some products on the marketplace or videos now let's add a new section over here and i copy the header from this container okay i have created some feature boxes that uh, most of the sites have i'll add a merchant from top and bottom to this section 
and then uh, if you plan to sell products on your listing website by using WooCommerce or any other listing or product selling software like Shopify you can create a section on your website to link your products with that and let's create a, a section for that i'll call this marketplace Okay, now I list some product categories over here. Turn this into a row, align to center, and let's adjust the image width. To like seventy five percent or seventy. okay i think we have got it covered i have added some categories with images you can find these images in the assets folder as well if you want to use them on your website and then let's give some final touchings to this section uh, okay so now we have a section and i think if you want to adjust the color scheme you can do that And we can switch the position. Like uh, placing the features between these two listing sections and then uh, i think we use we should use the same border color that we have added over here for this container okay I think that's fine. Now we give this section a margin. Ok, 
okay cool now let's have a final preview of our website that we have built so far using directorist elementor you can see we have a advanced search box over here we have categories that we forgot to link <laughs> we should link them uh, just click on this image click on the custom url and then you can link it with the categories just copy the link of a particular category and type or paste it over here you can also link the text okay you should do it for the rest of the category cards okay now they are linked now we have featured listings over here and we have uh, information box some information boxes popular listings and then we have uh, marketplaces that needs some spacing from the bottom like 30 pixels should be enough okay and now you can add more sections like in like pull in blog posts or create a custom post type for videos or you can uh, create a custom category uh, for videos in the blog section and then pull those posts over here and for that you need elementor pro because it does not uh, directories does not have a widget i believe for pulling the standard blog posts and neither to the elementors free version so you will need elementors pro version to add blog posts and other dynamic sections on the home page and now i think everything is fine if you click on the car listings you will see the listings over here and if we do a search like i want to search for honda cars so i there you have it and to customize this listing uh you can go to the directory builder and then in the all listing layout this is a card layout and then this is the listing layout and you can also further customize uh, all listings click edit over here and instead of using this short code you can use the uh, all listing widget uh, or block see listings okay now you can further customize its styling like adjusting its sidebar its layout the header if you want to remove the header uh, from the listing page all listing page or search results or listing or here you can see and you can also adjust the default layout to list and for further customization you can go to settings or listings and you can adjust high top search uh, from the listing page you don't want to have the uh, uh, search form a listing and then uh, there are these sidebars that you can show or hide you can also set the pop-up filter option that i personally like like changing it's something like this see now the sidebar is gone listings are here you can further customize like uh, changing it to the four items per row 
okay now when clicking on filters it will show a pop-up instead of the sidebar so if you want to use this layout you can use that and the listing by default has list and grid view and the map view and now for locations you can see we had assigned images and now the locations are being displayed in a beautiful grid and when a singular location is clicked it displays the listing items but if you want to display a map then you can just uh, go to pages and there should you have, there you should have a single location page that is being used to display the layout so in uh, directives locations uh, instead of directives location short code you can just scroll down and search for this single location and then instead of grip you uh, grid you can show a map like I want to uh, view the cars uh, in Lahore you can see it will display a map and this is open street maps which is free and if you want to have a more uh, advanced map system then you should enable the google maps uh, for this uh, for your website and to do that you need to use uh, create your google maps api key then use it over here it has some quota system for free for free uh, it provides you with limited uh, access or limited number of calls to their api and after that uh, they will start charging you for the number of requests being made from your website so you should be careful uh, if you are having a millions of users then you should consider its, its cost you should google it or find it on their api details page they have pretty uh, detailed documentation like you can go over here and read about it and search for its costs so uh, make your decision wisely and open street maps is uh, free to use currently uh, then uh, the google maps will have more amazing features and amazing layout rather than this one so now and now let's have a look uh, add listing page i think it does not work the way it it should go to pages and click on add listing and okay uh, we have added a wrong widget over here uh, go to blocks directory blocks and we should have uh, uh, add listing form over here okay now uh, when user clicks on add listing uh, you can optionally disable okay you can disable the header over here okay uh, and i think we should give it some space from the top uh, or we can just turn this back on okay and if you go to customize page single page design i think i don't have some control over the page title area uh, let's just click over here to see if we have some customization options like i wanted to align the text to the center but i don't think we have some something like that so you you can adjust it uh, depending the requirements or you can just uh, you can also build this page with elementor uh, let me just remove this one save and uh, let's just switch the template to elementor full width and click on edit with elementor then uh, 
you can use directories short codes for short codes add listing page just use this short code all this sell your car and then uh, let's add another container over here and then uh, use a short code widget and then just paste in the short code and you can uh, further customize it according to your requirement like you have the power of elementor and their short codes that are listed over here you can also pass in some attributes for specific short codes now you see there is an amazing form to that you have built or you can customize it from the directory builder and then go to add listing form this is the form that is being displayed for the user to submit their listing you can further customize it according to your requirement like however you want and after filling this form the listing should be in your uh, listings pending state then you can publish them and then if you want the users to choose between free and paid listing then make sure you have added the uh, listing type field over here this is this is isn't by default added so you should drag it at the very top and now the user will have the option to uh, choose between the general and featured and for featured the user will have to pay the amount so then you can uh, see it in the order history and this is your amazing car listing website uh, that you have built now using elementor directorist and astra theme and now i'll show you some uh, premium extensions that you can install uh, from the directorist plugin to further enhance the uh, features of your car listing website and before uh, moving forward let me just first uh, set up my account you need to navigate to the themes and extensions and then you need to log in with the credentials that you have used to log in on the directories.com website it will automatically link your account uh, to your installation so you can adjust or install or uninstall extensions uh, from their store so i'll log into my account so after successfully connecting your uh, directorist account with your website you can see all of your available extensions and themes uh, that you can install over here and uh, now uh, before installing any further extensions uh, let's uh, view the single listing page that needs some adjustments you can see over here it's uh, not well organized we should uh, uh, organize it in a way that it looks uh, beautiful and before that uh, you need to navigate to the pages single page design uh, or in general i need to change the background color of this default layout 
so let's create a new page uh, we don't have a single listing page i believe okay no so i'll create a new page uh, i'll call it single listing then uh, in the extra settings I don't think we have a color option for a singular page uh, to change if we look into the customizer colors or colors we may need to change this color that is being used uh, for the background but if we change this one it will change the other sections as well so Okay, so we can do something like that. We, we can just change the overall site background to white. So it should resolve our issue over here. Okay, now uh, I want to design the structure of this uh, single layout uh, as per my requirement. So to do that, you need to go to directory builder and then have a single page layout by default you can see uh, you can add rows and uh, move around certain widgets and then in the content you can add or uh, adjust the content like i want to remove this image slider for the listing from the listing header and i'll add i just reload this one and now we have removed the slider from here now uh, we can create our own layout just go to single and custom listings single listing page turn it on and then uh, search for the single listing page that you had just created then click on this button to generate short codes i'll uh, copy the header first and then i'll uh, copy uh, the appropriate short codes one by one and paste them in by desired layout so first of all i'll add a columns block with one column and then i'll add a short code over here okay now uh, i'll add another column uh, with a sidebar layout and then in the sidebar first of all in the left i will add the description short code you can add multiple short codes in a single block like there are description and basic info over here and then in the right side i'll add the key features and location and then the author info and the author author info should be at the top and the contact you can uh, separate the blocks for certain short codes if you want to apply some customization to that particular block okay okay let's save it and let's have a preview
let me just reload this first turn it on okay now there you have it your customized single listing page the the only thing now that is missing here is uh, slider or images okay let's add images over here and go to single listing generate I will have to reload this one okay now we have a slider uh, inside the post and then the description and then basic info map is on the right side contact listing owner is at the bottom you can uh, add that to the right sidebar as well and now we have a customized single listing page that have all of these features and then the user dashboard uh, go to customizer typography uh, and underline content links turn this off we don't want underlines over the and uh, for the links okay now you see the user have listings and if the user wants to set it to the feature uh, listings and once the user have selected the option for uh, premium listing or featured listing a user will have to make the payment and after uh, the payment is made you can see it in the order history and once you have created you can view the order and here are your listings and then uh, you can switch its status to completed and it will automatically uh, turn the listing into the featured uh, listing uh, and then the admin can from admin area you can publish this one and the listing will be set as featured okay so for bank transfers you will have to uh, provide your banking details so the user can submit payment and after the verification you can uh, mark the user order as completed and if you are if the you if you have enabled some digital payments like paypal stripe and etc then the payment will be made automatically and then the appropriate statuses will be assigned that you can also configure under settings and monetization and your selected payment gateway like bank transfer and so on here you will fill out the information about your bank uh, banking details the where the user should submit the payment for this and if you want to style these as i uh, as we have styled uh, the other pages uh, for this uh, this is the default layout you can use that or you can uh, follow the procedures that I have done uh, through uh, the Elementor because you have the widgets and you have the elements and if you uh, if you want to copy the customized solution or use the customized solution and if you want to customize this uh, every single page layout like for categories and for checkout and for cart you can all do that under the pages and just start editing the page with elementor uh, and then uh, adjust the 
page header and etc like we did for this one so now let's go to the themes and extensions tab and let's install some useful extensions that can boost uh, the uh, user experience or sales of our this car listing website uh, and first of all i will uh, add uh, compare listing like if you want if if a user want to compare two cars uh, and uh, the social login is a must that you should uh, install and configure on your website and then the mark as sold is another pretty cool extension that you can install and configure and for social login you may need to uh, create your uh, apps across different social platforms like facebook google to integrate with the social login system and you can also install the live chat and the mark as sold uh, the live chat feature allows the uh, uh, user to communicate uh, with the uh, listing owner you can add listing faqs image gallery claim listing and there are a couple of more uh, you can add, add a ads manager system like if you want to display google adsense or other ads uh, alongside with your listing like if you want to monetize further monetize your platform then you should uh, purchase their membership and then use this directorist ads manager extension that can help you increase the uh, revenue of your platform by integrating further ad platforms with your listing website so let's just go to plugins and see if these extensions are activated okay uh, I will activate all of them. Okay, uh, their Elementor add ons kit just got an update. You should update. I, this is pretty cool interface uh, for managing extensions for this certain plugin. I compare listing, live chat, mark as sold, social login now when you go to the settings you should see uh, another options uh, for their further extensions like in the extensions tab you can uh, turn on or off certain extensions and further customize the uh, options like live chat you can change labels mark as sold and then social login for social login you need to provide your facebook app and google client id to turn on the facebook and google login features now after these extensions have added you can go to the directory builder and then single page layout contents and then you can uh add certain options to like over here chat with listing owner okay Okay, now you can copy the short code and place it where you want the chat with the listing owner to appear. Further enhance like add the compare button to the listing as well.
okay now user can compare the cars can add price badges a rating and location to along with the title okay now it looks better and i can't see a chat uh, with the uh, owner yet uh, let's just go to contents uh, images description okay so i was logged in as the same user that's why it wasn't showing the chat feature now user can chat with the uh, listing owner the user need to log in or register to the platform okay now let's test this chat feature okay now the user can chat and it it, it should also be displayed in the chat section uh let me get back to uh my to my account you see uh, there you have it and it's it's just like olx and other sites it's an amazing built-in chat feature each ad uh, will be uh, listed alongside the chat and for some reason uh, the chat isn't appearing here but it's perfectly fine over here maybe perhaps there are some configurations that you need to look on their website for the further doc for further documentation uh to see how you can further uh, configure these extensions that i have just enabled and the admin can see in the chats for all the users and after enabling the mark as sold extension the user can select this mark as sold and then a badge will appear as mark as sold uh, along with the listings and you may need to customize the single page layout Uh, and the listing uh, all listing layout this should display the sold information along with the card so there are dozens of extensions and each extension have its own settings that you need to explore their official documentation or website or follow their official YouTube channel for further video tutorials. Okay, so I think we are done here. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed watching this video tutorial, then hit like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any amazing video tutorials like this. And if you have further questions, you can leave in the comments. And if you want to get this complete project ready made, you can also check the video description for the purchase link where you can buy and use this ready made uh, project to kickstart your car listing website project using Elementor and Directress plugin. So goodbye and happy creating with purpose and directorist.